Hello and welcome to another lesson in the creation of our school management system. And in this lesson, we are going to continue with uh, our teacher or teacher's data entry user form. Here, we are going to format it with the appropriate colors and fonts, and then look for the work on the settings sheets. Get the drop down menu for our combo boxes, work on our list boxes, columns and heads, column widths, column counts, naming of command buttons and all that. So that is what we shall be doing in this lesson. So let's just dive right into it. As you know, we've already created our uh, user form like this. So we have it here. Good. So let's just go ahead and begin formatting. Now, before we do that, let's switch back to design view. Good. So make sure let's select the user form by clicking somewhere here. Now let's go back to the, the properties um, panel to look for the properties we are we, we supposed to give to the user form. So first of all, let's start with the background color. As you can see, it's white. So let's just change it by clicking here. Come to the palette. Then let's choose uh, light green. Good. So we have something like this. So now let's select the entire labels this way. This, this. Then with the control key on the keyboard, press and hold. Then we continue selecting this. Sorry, and that. Now let's just go ahead and then format it appropriately. Let's go for the back style and change and change it from opaque to transparent so that we have something like this. Let's check the fonts of our labels. So we would like to use Times New Roman, we would like to bold it and then give it a 10 as the font size. Okay, so we have this. What else? Now let's just go to the um, special test effect here and change it to sunken this. That is the second one like this. Good. And then what else? Um, I think that is okay for now with that. So and i'm sure the back color with the black take the, the the fonts color being black i think that looks okay and not bad so we are good to go with that good so let's just debug it and see what's happening there good i think this looks okay quite okay so let's just go back to the design view and continue now let's check on the user form itself make sure it's clicked from here where the mouse where the, the cursor and the pointer is you click from there then let's give it a background color as well so we go back to the back color here you can see it's also white let's look for another color for it let's go to the palette and use something like this too for it yes i think this looks good doesn't look bad at all now let's proceed and check on this one as well in here the frame here let's give it a color we've given to this so let's just go to the back color as well go to the palettes then let's choose this good so this matches with that i think we are okay with this so let's just um debug it again and see by clicking here so good this is working perfectly for us let's just go ahead and check on other few things like um uh, our um buttons our buttons so let's um, check on that but before we do that let's click inside the frame and change the caption of the frame to uh, enter teachers data so just type it should be in upper cases enter teachers data then let's make sure that is the frame let's make sure the user form is now clicked let's change the caption to uh, teachers data entry form good so we are good to go with that as well let's come here click inside the frame and change the name of the frame the caption to database or teachers database good we are okay with that let's click this one can we press and hold control key and then click this one as well so that we have the two frames selected now let's work on this text here and there let's just go to the the four color looks is black it's okay let's check on the font so let's work on click here then we bold it size should be 14 times new room and then okay so we have this egg and then we can see it's very clear now let's just go ahead and work on our um, buttons here so select 
click on this and, and then press and hook on true key on the keyboard and select this select that this this now let's check here and get the other one here and select it as well oh sorry it's not possible for us to do that so let's just undo our action here we can't select um buttons from two different frames at the same time so let's work on this after that we just execute the same thing here so select this press and hold control select this this and that good now let's check on the font first the size should be probably 11 and then we would like to bold it and then times new roman this is okay now let's check on the back color so the back color we we'll like to give it dark green like this this one and the text that is a four color should then be white now cool i think this looks okay so let's just go ahead and format this one too like that select it let's check on the font first we'll come to the font click here we would like to bold it and then 11 and then times new roman okay so we have this ad photo now the back color of it and then we check on that from here it's still white so we click on the palette then let's choose dark green as well and then the four color should then be white now go to the palette and then choose white good think this let's debug it again and check so our forms looks perfect and good so now let's just go ahead and check on our combo boxes you can see as you can see now we have nothing to display here so let's quickly go back and work on that to work with that let's just go to the excel sheet and check on our settings sheet that is where we're going to do all those things this setting sheet good we already have one information so let's just click here and then begin typing information what do we need for so we, let, let's let's check what we are going to work on first we're going to work on with the designation first so let's work on after we come to academic qualifications you know them we come to professional qualification and you know you come to the ranks and all that so basically that is what we're going to be working on there so let's just um, go back and see how it's going to be uh good so let me just check on something from here so good now let's just start with the designation so with the designation let's come back to the excel sheet and then start here so we start with the the real designation in this we have the head teacher so we type head teacher assistant sorry head teacher head mistress assistant head mistress spouse master house master class teacher ICT master think you can add more of this by yourself you know them than I do here so you just go ahead and add whatever you would like to add let us add something like no more in school we will use this in our next or future tutorials no more in school you understand when we get there so we add this to it now we're going to select it and then give it a name so we're going to select it from this to that now let's come here and type desig d-e-s-i-g desig like that then you hit enter make sure you hit enter after typing that so let's reselect it and make sure the name appears the desig like this so it means it's working so when we go to our row source and then enter that it will then appear in our user form let's just go ahead and check on the next one that is the academic qualification so let's come here let's start with ss sorry triple s c we have wa wasi then we have gc you know them that i do please so we have db sorry d b we also have g c b i don't even know which switch we also have o level uh, level and we also have a level 
level home and then what else i think this is okay so you can add the rest like i said so let's just select them this okay let me just increase or adjust this a bit let's select this since it is academic qualification let's just give it a name come here acc acc so please don't forget of these names we're going to use them so hit enter so we are done with that so let me just reselect it and see whether this will appear the acc good means it's working perfectly now let's just go ahead and check on the professional qualification it's like we need the same if okay with the professional qualification let's check here and see we have sssc basi we have db oh gosh we have wasi we have db we have um degree we have masters we have phd and whatever so please you can add them by yourself so just select okay let's just adjust it again then up to here let's give it a name let's give it a name prof as in professional qualification prof then hit enter good it's now taken so when we select this this way so we have the name appearing there as prof let's select this way you can see that the name has changed but we select it up to the room you've selected and give name then it's there now we proceed and check on the rank rank so let's just check on the rank and start with whatever uh let me start with this so let's check here so we start with a teacher then we come to soup one soup one then we come to so let me just edit this soup one sorry one soup two senior soup two senior soup two professional senior soup one senior soup one principal superintendent Principal superintendent. Then we then have assistant director. Assistant director two. Assistant director two. Then assistant director one. Assistant director one. Come on. Assistant Director 1, then we have Deputy Director, sorry, Deputy Director and then Director General, the boss. Good. So let's just adjust it. So let's select it from this range to this. Let's come here and give it rank. So let's just hit enter to enter that so let's select the range again and see so we have rank there so we have this as designation acc or desic yeah let's check the names and confirm them desic acc prof and then this we have rank good so let us go back to so we are done control s to save yes okay let's go back to our user form and then execute all that we have this so let's come, make sure this is selected. Let's come to the row source. Let's locate row source and type desic. We are done with that. Let's click on this. Let's come to the row source and type ACC. ACC. Let's come to this. Check on the row source and type PROF. That is prof. Let's click this. Come to the rule source and type rank. 
Good. This works perfectly for us. Now let's debug it and see what's happening there. Let's check on designations. We have them. Enter any one of them. Let's check on this academic qualification. We have them. Let's check on professional qualification. We have them. Let's check on rank and we have them. So we can just reset our form and then why is this reset button not working? It should clear everything for us in the form. Okay, we wouldn't okay, okay. Sorry, we haven't yet assigned, sorry. <laughs> Uh, macros on the button so we'll do that later we're just going to copy and paste the codes and that, that will be running for us so i think that is okay now so we are also done with uh, that now let's just go ahead and then check on the list box so to do that let's just go back to this and then uh, let's click inside the list box now let's go to the okay let's check from the top we have the column counts the column counts means the number of columns that is 23 so we type there column head says we would like it to appear so it should be true good so it's appearing now now column width now that is where we have to assign the the width of each and every column from id down to the last one that is contact of the nest of kin so let's start that so with the id we are going to give it um, let's see let me just check on something and confirm the we just works there so um so with the id we're going to give it a uh, 60 so let's start with that so with the id let's give it 60 then comma then uh, we come to the name with the name we're going to give it 180 because of the length of some of the names then comma then after that we have uh, gender so with the gender we're going to give it 80 then comma and then after gender we also have date of birth we're going to give it 180 then after date of birth we have staff id we give it 70 then comma after staff id uh, we also have registered number so with the registered number we're going to give it 70 as well so 70 comma after registered number we have date of first appointment so we're going to give it 180 comma after date of first appointment, we have SSF number that is a slit. Now we're going to give it 100, comma. Then after that, then we should have designation. So we're going to give it 120 and 20, comma. After designation, uh, we're going to have academic qualification. So we're going to give it, uh, yeah, we're going to give it 150 or so. Yep, 150. So 150. Professional qualification take 150 as well. And then, uh, professional qualification take 150 and then rank 2 takes 150 comma 150 sorry 50 and then we also have um, after that then we have year of promotion year of promotion should also take something like uh, year of promotion should also have something like year of promotion year of promotion should have something like uh, 180 Sorry, let's just add comma here before comma. One eight year of promotion. Then after that, after year of promotion, we have phone number. We should have hundred comma. After phone number, then we have email. We're going to be adjusting certain things here. You can see some of the things are missing in our labels there. So after phone number, we have email. Email should also take something like one fifty because of the lengthy nature of some of the email addresses. And then after email we also have bank and then the branch it should also take something like uh, 150 yes 150 and then after that we have account number staffs so that should take something like 160 then after account number we also have gross salary gross salary should take something like 120 or uh, let's say yeah 120 net salary to 120 comma and then a uh, hometown hometown should also take something like 150 nest of king should take 180 is a name and then uh, relation of the nest of king should also take something like 120 and finally the con the contact of the nest of king should be 100 so we are done with that so you can just click anywhere else and then you have that up and running as well so that looks okay so you can see that the various Okay, let's just uh, debug it and check and see what's going to happen there. 
so you can sorry it will not appear for you to see it here because we have to go to the excel sheet and work that out so let's just go back and then you see that appearing here so it's it has taken effect just that you can't see it now until we go to the excel sheet and use the name manager to assign a, a name to it and then enter it into the rule source that is when all this will appear and appear perfectly for us without any stress but then before we do anything at all let's just go ahead and do the counting here and see something let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three so it's intact so everything is okay it's up to twenty three and that is the number so we have no issue again we are done with that now let's just click somewhere here and debug it and see now you can see that some of the things are hidden here bank and branch here is hidden as well as a phone number here is hidden either we decrease the font size or we adjust the the various uh, labels this is this too so in this case just because one of the various label boxes to be the same it's going to decrease the font size and if possible delete some of the things that we might not need like this phone number if you just type contact there it will fit so just to make sure things look good so let's just go back there and figure out that now let's come to the phone number and change it to contact actually it wouldn't affect anything though so we have contact so this will fit so let's just with this let's select everything and then decrease the font size by one i think so that would be perfect control press and hold the, the control key and then you do that so let's go to the font size should be we have given it 10 right so let's make it 10 points oh, okay or oh, nine okay let's make it nine oh, let's check. okay so we can see everything is now working perfect bank and branch and everything so let's just debug it and see good so everything is now intact without any stress so i think this looks good now let's just go ahead and assign names to our various um command buttons so you click on this let me just check here adjust it here a bit let's adjust it a bit again good good so command one that is not what we want so just type cmd please do exactly the same cmd add cmd reset cmd close cmd sorry search then we have final one cmd sorry updates so we are good to go with this so let's just debug it finally then i think um we are done with this so we are going to end this lesson here in our next lesson this is going to go to the name manager and assign a data row for it for the row source and from there we will just copy and paste our formulas then we have the form up and running so till our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching and then bye for now